Hey everybody, it's Andrew here, and uh, we have liftoff on the first try of a potential mission out to EVE. Um, we have a little probe here that I intend to launch into uh, to EVE's surface, along with a lander that hopefully we can take out to some of EVE's moons, and of course the interplanetary stage that will hopefully allow us to get there, so this is without any prior launches. I actually seem to get off the pad on the first try, which is pretty good. Um, so I figure we'll go out and um, actually... Well, first of all, I hope that we have our staging right so that everything goes well here, because otherwise this launch looks absolutely perfect. Um, the other thing is that we'll go and get Jeb uh, from Drez Low Orbit uh, at some other later date. I don't want to bore you guys um, with attempting to do that uh, right away. Because that's sort of, it's sort of repeating a mission we already did, and, um, you know, Jeb's comfortable, he's got lots of snacks, and, you know, he's got Netflix out there, uh, you know, I assume, and pretty much anything you'd need for a nice, uh, cold, uh, lonely day, um, orbiting around a, uh, a planet like Drez. So, we're gonna drop our SRBs here, and that looked pretty good. Uh, we're not exactly accelerating at this point. Okay, now we are. That's an excellent sign. Um, otherwise I kept things more or less the same that I did for the Drez mission. I mean, a few modifications here and there, just like to ch save on w weight in certain places. Um, I went ahead and scienced up to get the stack decouplers. That way we won't run into that issue again of, um, having the decoupler only work on one side. So that's the stack separator, which actually is basically a two-way decoupler. So that should work a lot better. Uh, and uh, yeah, that should be a good start here. Uh, if any luck, we staged correctly. Uh, it's always very hard to tell. It looks like I'm pretty confident that we did it correctly, but eh, confidence doesn't mean much in Kerbal Space Program. So let's see here. Almost ready to drop. Oh, and I should probably start turning, but I think I'll wait for these tanks to drop before I start turning at this point. Okay. Drop. Excellent. That was picture perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and start going this way. A little bit late, but not terrible. Not a big deal. And we're turning very nicely now that we have the ASAS. And uh, let's get stabilized so we can drop those next two tanks. Or next four tanks, really, actually. And hopefully the next, the correct next two will actually drop. And, uh, no surprises happen. So keep your fingers crossed there. Let's just take a look here real quick and see how we're doing. Woo! Ooh, shoot! What did I just do? Okay. I didn't, uh, stage anything by accident just there. Almost did. And so, let's see if those next two burn out. Should be these two, I believe. Oh, those two. Okay, we're dropping away. So that looks good, and we're making swift and rapid progress into space. Oh, that's very exciting. I like it when it goes goes uh, correctly on the first time through. That's like a miracle. I love it. Well, let's not say uh, let's not say anything yet, because you know, you know, things are bad sometimes when they're supposed to be good. So okay, let's drop those next two tanks, and then I'm, I'm going to turn over some more. Yeah, this was excellent. This was a perfect. We're looking good. Okay, drop. Thank you. Now, let's see where we are at. I'll drop it down to there, or thereabouts. Have an excellent amount of orbital speed working for us. Yeah, so, alright, so far, so good. Feeling quite comfortable. Like we've done this before, because we have. Huh, I wonder what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Why is that showing? It must just be behind. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, why is the Drez thing there? Oh, we can drop. Please stage. Oh, we broke something, it looks like. What do we break? Ooh, did we lose a rocket engine? No. Collided into, but did not break. Okay, I can live with that. I should really put on some, uh... Come on. Need some RCS here to figure our sh stuff out here. And uh, I think we can pretty much activate. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to activate, activate, 
and activate, and now we can do this. Now we're rocking. Okay, 80. I'll turn off RCS now. We don't really need that. Um, I should have set an action group to activate and deactivate the uh, nuke nukes there, but they hardly ever really actually overheat. That's kind of... Eh, doesn't happen that much, though it kind of looks like it might. I'll have to keep our eye on that. Okay. Almost out to where we want to be. And I kind of recorded this video kind of impromptu, so I really hope it's recording correctly right now. Okay, stop. Okay, awesome. How are we looking? We got... Oh yeah. We're rocking style. We got mad style. We rocket styling. Whatever that means. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the wind is awfully loud out there. Um, it's constant sounding of things, sounds like things are breaking re on a regular basis, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's been really windy these past few months here. Not really quite sure what's up with that. Not that common. It's, it's more common around the fall usually, not around the winter, so I don't know. Getting, uh, gets quite windy sometimes though. So, looks like we're going to burn for orbit here in about a minute, so I think I'll just go ahead and, you know, wait <laughs> a little bit, and, uh, yeah, we're starting to get this uh, asparagus stage stuff really, really uh, dialed in, which is exciting. Um, I don't struggle so much with it quite like I used to. Things don't... Eh, we have a few problems here and there where things might try to break, but, uh... And let's uh, go ahead and extend at least some of our panels here while we have an opportunity. Don't need all of them. We'll just get whichever ones we can. That's a ladder. Just in case we don't have the RTGs, I think we can get these ones. I'm not even going to risk opening those, actually. And, uh... Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Because a little early is better than late. Um, especially when perfection is not the... Uh, um, theme of the day. Okay, let's drop those. Goodbye. I think we broke some more solar panels, but... Again, not that worried about it. I think that happened last time too, but we just ignored it. Okay, whoops. Let's get back on track here a little bit. Getting all distracted by my solar panels. As is, you know, expected. 100, 100. Okay. Call that good. We're in orbit. 109, 90. Let's go ahead and that's fine, 94. Plenty to work with there. Nope, see the broken, broken. Nope, those ones aren't broken. Yeah, bound to break something, right? I mean, that's just kind of like the way things go when you're in space. That one's broken, that one's probably... Oh, that one's not broken. Oop, I think I just retracted when I meant to extend. Let's put on free camera mode here, please. That one's broken. Whoa! Camera's all doing all kinds of crazy stuff. That is very disorienting. Oh my gosh. Well. We are most certainly, indubitably, or whatever that word is, in space. Broken. Okie dokie. No worse for the wear. We're only a little bit worse for the wear. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to set up an EVE, uh, thingy-jingy, you know what I'm talking about, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, it looks, it looks like, uh, we've managed to set up a pretty close encounter for 6 million meters out, it's a pretty good start, um, and, uh, it's not too much delta V, about 1100 meters per second, not crazy. Uh, so we'll uh, see what we can do with this. Though the idea will be to try to aerobrake around Eve, 
and while excuse me there press the uh, unrecord button while doing uh, the uh, uh, arrow break around Eve will drop that probe um, hopefully be able to get the shoots deployed properly and uh, then uh, switch back to the other craft make sure we don't crash and anything like that and um, I don't know I'm not really sure what's gonna happen so this will be a kind of a bit of an experiment well that's what science is all about right so uh, we'll see you hopefully in the Eve sphere of influence we'll see Hey everybody, I'm back and we've made it into uh, Eve's Sphere of Influence here. Um, it looks like what I have to do here is go east quite a good ways. First of all, make sure we're rotating the right way around the planet, which I think is like this. And I don't really know how we're going to get out to Gelly, I haven't really figured that out yet, but uh, let's just uh, go like that. And let's go, and, oop, that's the wrong way. Okay, I guess we really just need to go north, north now, at this point. This is going to be a rather tedious process, so give me a few minutes and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, I've lined it up so at least we're going to get an arrow break maneuver. I don't know, we're going to be so far out of alignment with Gilly, it could be kind of a nightmare to get to. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there at this point. Just trying to get in the atmosphere a little bit on Gilly, or sorry, on Eve, and see if that does what we want it to do. And uh, doesn't do anything. Oh jeez, we don't want to time accelerate that much. Okay, um, yeah, basically, whew, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> when we get into Eve's atmosphere, then we will uh, let go of that probe, and we'll actually probably want to fall that probe down and see if it lands safely, so I'm going to get ready at some point to decouple that, and we'll be back. Hey everybody, we're back, and I just got done doing some arrow breaking around Jewel with the uh, this vessel here, and I detached the uh, probe that I intend to uh, more or less crash land into Eve's surface. So I've just been going basically around and around until uh, hopefully I slow down enough that I'll actually land, and hopefully the parachutes deploy properly. So um, I'm just going to keep going around until we hit the earth, or in this case, the eve. The eve ground. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I thought I would share the view that I'm getting here with you guys a little bit. Uh, looks like sunrise. Pretty neat. I don't know how well you guys can see that there. That looks pretty cool. Hey everybody, this is Andrew and we're back and as you can see I have managed to land this probe on Eve's purpley surface. Our only issue was I tried to open up one of our solar panels a little bit too early and uh, that caused uh, to break off. So I was very conservative about opening up this second solar panel. Um, in fact, and I also opened the parachutes quite a bit early. It took a probably around 45 minutes um, from the time the parachutes were deployed until I hit the surface. It was a pretty slow and tedious process. I think I went like to the store or something, and wa watched some TV and came back and it was finally landed. Um, so we were descending very very slowly like one meter two meter per second by the end of it we've gotten probably a great deal of science out of this in fact what I'd like to do real quick if I may is go check on how much science we've gained so far out of this mission which is I'm not gonna have a good number because I don't really remember it's wrong button Andrew 
right here is where we're going to go. So we have 860. I have no idea really how much of that is from that probe, but I would say a good deal of it was from that. Ooh, the big parachutes would be awesome, big choke chutes. Um, would like to have the external command seat that could be handy for some really lightweight uh, landing missions on some of Jules moons, which is probably a potential plan for the future. These are kind of optional at this point, don't really know. Not sure what that is there, that might be RTGs. Uh, that'll be easy to get. Just this Amir 160 there, some jet stuff. Who cares about jet stuff? Um, of course these building blocks are extremely useful. And of course mainsails and orange tanks and metamaterials, both those things very highly prized. So the next thing to do is to try to get this guy into uh, into alignment with Gilly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send out our landing craft there to uh, to go rendezvous with Gilly, which is really what's what it really is because because uh, Gilly's so tiny. And then uh, go out there and land on it, come back, rendezvous with the interplanetary stage, and uh, figure it out from there. So. This might take actually a few uh, a few different tries here, and uh, it's quite interesting that we that that is causing us to perhaps we need to slow down a little bit more. I think we can probably afford to. Oh no, we're out of the atmosphere now. So really, I think what we want to do at this point is. Do we want to circularize, circularize now, mm, or do we want to wait till after we... I guess we want to circularize now. Either way, it's going to be a massive amount of fuel to use, but... Um, I think we're going to have plenty of fuel. I don't think we're going to have any problems, so... I'm going to go ahead and just sort of set things up here a little bit, and... Um, get things kind of organized so that we're ready to go out to Gilly and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see we've aligned our orbit with Gilly and now, and let's see how circular are we. Need to circularize a little bit more um, and then we should be good to do something. I don't know what yet. Alright, I'm back and I have managed to line our orbit up exactly with Gilly um, by burning on the blue markers. Um, once we got our orbit circularized, uh, we burned um, basically on the top right there on the uh, nav ball there and that aligned our orbits, which I didn't really think to do, but it just sort of happened to work. Um, and so now it looks like we've got a pretty good um, encounter going on here. So, um, I think I'll go ahead and try to make that work. Um, let's see, that's a one second burn in six minutes. I think I can handle that. Well, let me go ahead and just uh, time accelerate a little bit more. And let's go find that node really quickly. I think maybe I just overshot that uh, alignment change just a little bit. Now I have to burn uh, in the opposite direction for just, yeah, could have overshot by a second or something like that. So let's see here. Maybe we should just do this with the RCS. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. Let's get as close as we can to that marker there and just burn with the RCS. That seems pretty safe. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, we should be okay. Stop. Alright, is that going to be close enough? 
Yes, it looks like it is. So let's scooch on over there. And I think, let's see, is there any more science to be done at this point? Probably not. Nope. Let's check the EVA here. Nope. Okay, get back in there, Bill. Okay. Let's go ahead and speed up to and get this encounter. And stop. Ooh, jeez. Oh, wow, we got into an orbit. I'm shocked. I thought we were going to fly right past it. That is amazing. Wow. I was really not expecting that at all. Well, that's going to make things even easier than they already were going to be. Um, let's go ahead and get that orbit circular. That's going to make rendezvous a lot easier later. Well, let's see, where are we at? 47, 90. So we need to bring... Oop, wrong way. Are we orbiting the right way? I guess we are. Maybe we're not. Which way are we going? Oh, we're orbiting retrograde. Well, let's fix that. Um, by burning... I know Gilly's gravity is so low, I think we can fix this relatively easily. With relatively little fuel. So, let's just burn... about... actually burn retrograde completely. Which sounds goofy, but it's gonna work. Okay. Now we're going the right way, and um, let's. Okay, so it looks like we're at 12 there, 12,000 meters there. Let's try to get 12,000. It is really uh, being very temperamental. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, that's too low. Okay, 12,000, 12,000. That would be just perfect. Okay. I don't know why it's jumping around like that. Just sometimes it does that. Never know why. And time accelerate here. I was really surprised that we got captured into the orbit of Gilly. I thought for sure we we're definitely gonna go straight past it. And I was gonna have to just land the lander and then go back out and rendezvous with the other half of our ship around Eve at some point. That's okay. I don't know how easy or difficult a landing here is going to be, but actually let's hold off for a second and do some quick science. In space high over Eve do that and get back in. Forty more science there. We can uh, let's transmit that. And transmit that as well. Now what else can we do here? We can do one of our materials bays, I guess. And get another... Oh, yeah, 200 science out of that. Okay, let's see. Where are our goo canisters at here? 80 there. That's pretty good. Where are our gravity instruments? I always seem to end up on the dark side of things. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay. Log some gravity data. Um, we're not going to be able to do that. Temperature, can't do that. Any of that. So, well, we did get the gravity data, so that's good. Okay. Now then, let's get on with things and 
Whoa. 12 and 12. Okay. And we're doing that in 20 minutes from now. Speeding, speeding ahead some more. Yeah, it's a one second burn. Yeah, definitely doing that with RCS. Three, two, one. enough, so let's RCS and that measly 5 meters, we could practically land with RCS, which would be pretty neat to try, but not worth the effort right now. Okay, now we're bouncing all over the place, but I know that that's close enough. So let's do our final checks here before we detach. Wow, we're out of monoprop there? Well, it's a good thing that we have all this. Oh, I hope that's going to be enough RCS to rendezvous, because my rendezvous skills are pretty di pretty bad. That's probably the part of this whole thing that I'm most worried about. Um, let's see if we can do any more crew stuff. No. Okay, well, there's nothing else to be done except to detach this thing. I'm pretty nervous about this whole thing. Oh man. Um. You know, I'm looking now, I realize that we don't have any batteries on... Ooh. Not that I can see. Are they hiding? I'm not sure. Well, that would be kind of bad, but we'll... We have plenty of solar panels. Hopefully that should be okay. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's... RCS away a little bit. Now, can we switch back to the other vessel and control? We can't control it, though. Now, why does it look like that thing didn't come off? Oh, it is. It's coming off. Good. Alright, let's switch back here. And let's just test her out a little bit. If we can. What are we doing here? Time accelerating? No. Why can't we move? Hmm. Technical difficulties, maybe? Not sure. Where's Jeb? Oh, there we go. Oh, still, I was still on that one. Okay, so, well, we don't want to waste any of that RCS because we don't have a lot. Pretty nervous about this. Um, but I think we should wait until... Well, we have plenty of daylight, so we could basically stop spinning. Go ahead and let's... we can turn on that. Yeah, we only have 50. Oof, it's not good. Well, okay, and we're not burning because we haven't activated our engine. Jettison. We can jettison the engine? That's a new one. I haven't seen that before, or noticed it at, at any rate. That's weird. Okay, let's go ahead and just... okay, perfect. That looks like a decent spot. Um, so let's put down our gear here. Yeah, and uh, we're moving at a whopping, let's see, okay, no. whopping 13 meters per second, which is kind of interesting. Let's go a little bit uh, north here. I like that, that spot looks a little bit better to me. Okay, let's go ahead and 
wait for us to be retrograde and time accelerate down which we have to do quite slowly pretty cool though I like the view okay that's enough <laughs> I don't want to overshoot my uh, landing point here but I really could just land anywhere I have so much fuel but We'll try to conserve it because we might need to, um, just in case something bad happens, we might need to hold on to the fuel as long as we can. Okay, we can't time warp at all. In that case, let's just go ahead and, well, I know it's going to take forever, so... Let's cut here, because at this rate, it's going to be like a half an hour before we actually reach the surface. So, see you guys in a half an hour, I guess.